We're Team Mad, and you're watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. Welcome once again to Cheap Shot Entertainment. You are the Cheap Shot Nation, and as ever, I am your host, Luke. I am here today with Zuzzy Z. Hi. Uh, and you will also see Martin as well. No TJ today. She has decided just to sit in the background, being the director Hi. <laughs> of this video. But we're going to do a video. We're going to take you through everything that happened on the future weekend. It took place on the 26th and the 27th in the Grosvenor Rooms and the Shirebrook Welfare respectively over two days and it was a fantastic weekend of fun wrestling. Mm. It was worth it. It's the first time Future's tried this um, mm. doing Saturday and Sunday. So you kind of think Sunday might have been a bit quieter but Sunday was just as good as, as Saturday. It mm. was both both days Were it was worth having tickets for both days. Fantastic. Ten quid for two two days of wrestling plus if you've got the network in between you've got Takeover Phoenix and Royal Rumble. Reviews of those are already on the channel, so head over there and check those out. Uh, but we're running on a time schedule today, so we're going to go straight into the matches um, for you, and we hope you enjoy the show. And so your first match for the Saturday evening show taking place on the 26th of January in the Grosvenor Rooms in Sutton was for your Kings of Flight Championship, newly crowned DDA Kings of Flight Champion, Diamond Dave Andrews. He's going to defend his championship against Bendigo, part of the pro team. Uh, the match, well before the match, Troy, we're introduced to Troy, Big Papa Goose, and he comes out with Jackson Bain, and they introduce... Bendigo. Yeah, I, I noticed. Um, ben, uh, I noticed this. Uh, Jackson Bain came out with something in like something black in his knee pad, and he got it out and he recorded Bendigo's entrance. Oh, so he bought his mobile phone with him. Yeah, from down to inside to record yeah. Bendigo's entrance. Excellent. So Bendigo's entrance quite elaborate. He's got a little frame thingy uh, that he comes out with. Definitely needs a better filter though. Um, for that frame and um, yeah um, as you can imagine with a match of this caliber again a really really good match um, with Bendigo using the distractions of Troy and Tank Jackson Bain uh, to his advantage throughout the match yeah um, so um I like one of Benio's moves here. Um, he did do it, but I'm not sure like if when it was part of the match. He grabs him off with his shoulders. He slams him down, like does like a hamstring kind of thing, and he gets back up and does a moonsault, which I think's quite good actually. Yeah, really, yeah. Uh, quite athletic moves from Bendigo. Standing moonsault is part of his arsenal. Um, part way through the match, DDA does get an injury as he is thrown out of the ring. Lands on his. Um, hand funny and that does play out throughout the match with the um, with Bendigo targeting that wrist because um, we asked DDA to uh, yeah. chop Bendigo and Troy and um, he said mm, not quite it's not quite there yet but um, yeah the uh, the match was fantastic like I say there was interference from the pro team unfortunately but they were always entertaining on the outside of the ring as well. Uh, the match ends with a top rope sent on which was missed by Bendigo. Uh, Diamond Dave getting his knees up there. Uh, Boston Crab and, Di and an elbow. DDA wins Yay. by hitting the Diamond Cutter on which is like a, an RKO if you've not seen a diamond cutter uh, it doesn't jump up it just sort of grabs them and and drops them down wins with the diamond cutter retains his hope kings of flight championship 
for the first match and it was a yeah. very very good match to get everyone going the crowd should be said it should be said were very hot in this one um lots of chanting and cheering uh, definitely not a quiet crowd in Sutton no. as you would definitely expect if you haven't been to Sutton definitely yeah. not a quiet place on the first show um there wasn't really much of a turnout um it was still pretty full but it wasn't much of a turnout and then Drag Leisure show got on like during the first and second matches uh, more people came in um, by the end it was full so mm. very good venue uh, Sutton Nashville is yes it is maybe one day might see a main show there maybe one day yeah, maybe. Um, still quite a small venue though. So. Yeah, it's still small for a venue. Yeah. Uh, but it certainly does a very good job of packing them in for Hope Future. But yeah, great match to get us started. Um, kick off the show, got the crowd going for the next match. Yeah. So the next match was a singles match. And this is a feud that's been happening um, between formerly DDT, Dirtbag Dave and Twister. Now, um, Dirtbag Dave, I love his character. Mm. Comes down to the chair with a, um, comes down to the chair with a ring. He comes down to the ring with a chair. Comes out carrying a ring to the chair. <laughs> and then, um, as he got in the ring, he just chucked the chair in the middle of the ring and off we went again. Yeah, he carries that chair around for a single purpose and it is in fact the chair that he clocked Twister with as he broke up their tag team known as DDT yes. which is quite, um, quite a good move reference, wrestling yeah. move reference there uh, Diamond, uh, Dirtbag Dave rather, not Diamond Dave, Dirtbag Dave and Twister um, so yeah definitely like Martin said a feud that's been going on for quite a while it's like even at the last show um I don't. Th yeah, it was the last show. Um, in no, it was it was in the Shyrock show. Mm -hmm. uh, they Twister versus DDT, and they both had tag partners. Yes, they did. Yeah. So the fuse started at Future Nine, and it. I think it was Future Nine. I'm not sure. I'm not been quite possible. Matches, so. We do. We are hoping to go to more of them yeah. though, because they are getting really, really good. Um, so, Dirtbag Dave. The Twister is grounded uh, in uh, for a lot of this match. He Twister, he is a high flyer. He's a bit of a luchador. Uh, he's grounded for most of this match. Uh, Di uh, Dirtbag Dave does do a very good job at grounding Twister throughout this match. Um, the match finishes when Dirtbag Dave throws Twister a the steel chair that he came out with. And falls on the floor. And I've put it down here. It does it does an Eddie? Does an Eddie Guerrero? Huh. So um, also, I forgot to mention when uh, Dirt Bad Dave went off, um, he ran off into the back. And when Twister was doing his entrance, he walked around, and then Dirt Bad Dave came and attacked him. That's ah, where he ran. I forgot right, to mention. Right. Okay. That that's that's how he got the uh, got the advantage throughout the match. Yeah. But yes, uh, the match ends in a DQ. Um, uh, Dirt Bad Dave. Throws the chair to Twister. He catches it as the referee is <coughs> distracted. Hits the chair on the floor. Throws it. Twister falls over. Uh, anyone uh, of a certain age will know when I say this. It's a reference to Eddie Guerrero. Uh, I was the only one chanting Eddie. Uh, but there you go. Um, and the referee turns around, and sees that Twister has the chair, thinks that he's clocked di Dirtbag Dave over the head, and disqualifies Twister. Yeah, and also take, uh, I'm gonna take, I took notice of this, quite a lot of wrestlers, when that does happen, when they do it, it's like straight after the match, they're straight up, like acting like nothing happened. But Dirtbag Dave kept, like he actually was hit by a chair. So yeah. walking around like that, yeah. uh, when he was outside the ring and stuff, but a lot of the normal wrestlers just get up and off the go again, like yeah. acting like nothing ever happened. So um, yeah, the Twister does hit Diamond uh, Dirtbag. I keep calling him Diamond Dave. Dirtbag Dave over the head with the chair anyway after the um, after the finish, and um, that then uh, that's then the finish. Dirtbag Dave is your winner for this match. And uh, the feud continues. Yeah.
So your next match was a Hope Foxes match featuring Luna Rocks and Natalie Sykes, two ladies who are relatively new to the wrestling scene, uh, both playing their crafts in different places throughout the UK. Luna Rocks um, learning her craft from um, a, another local show known as House of Pain wrestling and graduating from the House of Pain Academy whereas Natalie Sykes is based at the Hope Wrestling Academy in Yorkshire and training under Kip Sabian Superbad Kip Sabian that is Mr World of Sport um, so as you can expect with two ladies who are just starting out in the wrestling world um, not a fantastic match but um, Got to give them props for getting in that ring, doing some high, doing some high fly moves, some hard hitting moves. Um, Luna Rocks is the bigger of the two ladies. Natalie Sykes using her speed to counteract that size. Um, the match ends with Natalie Sykes getting the roll up pin on Luna Rocks and picking up the win. Um, there wasn't really any significance here. Uh, Luna Rocks used all of her ring wariness to try and take Natalie Sykes out of her game. Uh, Luna Rocks should be noted hasn't really hasn't beaten Natalie Sykes in a one-on-one -on -one match. Um, things can only get better for these two, so I'm hoping for the future that once they've sort of get their sort of ring chemistry together, we can see some really, really good matches from these two ladies. Your winner in this match is Natalie Sykes. And so your next match is one of the biggest matches of the night. It is your main event um, for the, yeah, it is your main event for the first half of the night it is the hope future tag team championship match to crown the first ever ever hope tag team champions it is the omen accompanied to the ring by tj lee their manager their preacher their sermon giver uh, versus the high school heart breakers of zach morris and riley nova and um, we're guaranteed new champions in this match. Interestingly though, TJ Lee does not get involved in this match at all, really. He preaches from the outside, the crowd give him a bit of stick. Uh, but it is all of uh, Sam, Ken Sam Kenny and Jack Thornton that do all of the work. So you've got... Um, the hard hitters, the bruisers in Omen uh, versus the high flying um, pairing of uh, the high school heartbreakers and Clash of Styles brings quite an entertaining match, a really really good match in fact. So um, your winners at the end of the match were the Omen, they become new tag team champions um, but and they did use their bruising like ways to take out the high school heartbreakers for the win. So we, the finish involved a knee to the back and a spinning lariat from Omen on Zach Morris as Riley Nova was taken out on the outside. Lots of fighting on the outside should be said, um, but also lots of high flying from the high school heartbreakers to counteract the hard hitting nature of the Omen. And uh, Sam Kenny gets the pin over Zach Morris to become the first ever Hope Future Tag Team Champions. Uh, they are very pleased with themselves. A high School Heartbreak is a bit disappointed, but they'll be back in the future um, and going for those championships again, I'm sure. But once again, your winners in this match and first ever Hope Future Tag Team Champions are the Omen, that is Sam Kenny and Jack Thornton. And so your match featured the third member of the pro team, uh, also came out for Ben Troy, 
with his tiny towel versus Ken Nelson. We haven't seen him up in this neck of the woods very often um, or even at all. I've only seen him, I think, at the uh, Fighting for Our Health, Mental Health show in uh, Mansfield in summer. Um, otherwise, he is very much based in Sacrifice Pro, which is in Milton Keynes. Um, so, Kent Nelson travelling up to Sutton for the night to take on Troy and his tiny towel. It's established early that Troy does have a very tiny one as Kent Nelson brings his own towel out and there's a sort of gym fight with the towels um, which Kent Nelson wins. He's slapping Troy on the arse with his towel. Um, yes, this is wrestling and it is very funny. Um, so uh, after that the uh, match begins and um, Troy has his moments in this match. It does seem like Kent Nelson using his strength and speed over Troy is very much winning over Troy um, most of this match uh, until Troy does get a dirty sort of uses his dirty heel tactics to gain the advantage. Um, it's at this point that Troy tells the crowd that he's going to fist Troy. He misses and fists the mat in, instead. Um, yes, this is wrestling and it's very funny. Uh, so after he misses that, Ken Nelson gets back on top. Pro the rest of the pro team, Bendigo and Tank, uh, come out. They distract Kent Nelson. Troy gets a low blow and a roll up for the win. Uh, so your winner in this match is Troy and he still he picks up another victory in his momentum towards perhaps an opportunity at the, the, the Kings of Flight or even the Hope Future Championship. He's picked up victories against the big dog Reigns and now over uh, Kent Nelson as well. The uh, Saints of Sacrifice champion along with Warren Banks who would see on the Sunday show um, during the Hope Future Weekender. But your winner in this match is Troy and he takes his tiny towel and goes home. And so your next match is the Owen Charles Gimmick Invitational Scramble match. I hope I got that in the right order. Owen Charles, if I didn't, please get in touch with us and correct us in the comments section down below or on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Anyway, I'm going to take you through the match. Uh, so it's Owen Charles, who is the guy who has invited all of these gimmicks into the ring. Uh, you've got Mark Banger Rolls, aka Shaggy. You've got Kieran Saint, aka Barbie Girl, aka Scrappy Doo. You've got Liam Smith, who used to be a referee, plying his trade in Sacrifice Pro. Uh, Jackson Baines, the tank, part of the pro team, the third member of the pro team to have a match tonight on this show. And of course, David DeVille, real life brother-in-law of Jack Cave. So the match starts off, everyone's in the ring. The idea is that in the scramble match, it's not the first one to get the pin, but it's a, an elimination scramble match. So as people get eliminated via pinfall or submission, they leave the ring and the, and the uh, um, surface clears, the ring clears, and the one to get the final pin wins the match. So here we go. This match was uh, scheduled for several falls, so uh, we can't even do that. Uh, and it was quite a, it was really good match. It was a really good match because uh, usually in scramble matches you can't see what's going off. There's so much going off, but it was played out in such a way that you could. Um, and um, obviously Jackson Bain, uh, the tank, is uh, dominant in this match all the way through pretty much until he gets uh, dumped out and he has to get thrown out by two people but right early on in the match everyone turns on tank everyone tries to take him out no one can and that's where we get our first 
elimination. So Kieran Singh gets eliminated by his tag team partner, or would be tag team partner, Mark Banger Rolls. So Shaggy do Shaggy. Uh, eliminates Scrappy Doo, and not long after, uh, Shaggy gets eliminated by the tank. Uh, so, yes, there's a lot of gimmicks in this match, but there you go. Um, the next one to go is Liam Smith, the former referee. Again, another gimmick, uh, but he was actually a referee. Um, uh, like dangerous Danny Doring, if anyone remembers that, except he doesn't wear stripes, which is, you know, I think he's missing out on something there. Anyway, he gets eliminated by Tank as well. That's two eliminations from Tank in this match. Uh, like I say, dominant. Uh, it takes two people to then get Tank out of the ring. That's the remaining two. That is Owen Charles and David Deville. And the match finishes when Owen Charles uh, pins David DeVille for the win. Um, thinking about it, actually, I think it was over the top. Was it over the top? I think it was, actually. Anyway, um, so yeah, your winner in the Owen Charles gimmick invitational elimination scramble match is Owen Charles. <laughs> um, I've never seen Owen Charles as... Owen Charles, um, really, like this is kind of Owen Charles, I've always known him in Brick Lane. And as Martin alluded to, there is only two members of Brick Lane left now. Um, but, um, yeah, Owen Charles really, really entertaining in this match. Quite funny, good banter with the crowd. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing him more in this character role that he's got in the sort of main roster the hope future roster and the main roster up here in mansfield because it's quite different down south in sacrifice pro but your winner of the owen charles invitational gimmick Kids scramble match was owen charles hi now this is your main event for um for to, for friday night saturday night show yeah this is a match that i think has been kicking off uh, since Jackie Cave came yeah. back back in December and um, wanted Kyle Kingsley to join him and it didn't work. Kyle Kingsley said no and then Kyle Kingsley went heel and Jackie Cave has gone face. Quite strange but uh, yeah, we're loving, we're loving our guy Jackie yeah. Cave, aren't we? My, our boy, <laughs> Jackie yeah. Cave. And is always will be king and queen to us, uh, Emma. But anyway, Lego Warfare match, quite a different match for, for Kyle Kingsley. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him in anything like this no. before, have you? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. So obviously, Lego Warfare is what it says on the tin. It's a match that's going to involve Lego. Um, so they both get uh, baking, baking trays out, which... Um, I've, we've still actually got one Do we? in the car, yeah, we, well it's Uncle Luke's, um, so I need to give him that. And it's got Lego stuck to it, so um, the match, I think it started off as, as just a, a match, didn't it? There was obviously uh, good wrestling between both of them, because you've got Jack Cave against yeah. Kyle Kingsley. Um, so both very, very good wrestlers. But then it took a turn for the worst when, when out came the baking trays covered in Lego, the chair covered in Lego, Lego boxes, um, Lego everywhere. Uh, Jack Cave hit uh, Kyle twice on the head yeah. with this baking tray with Lego stuck on it. And we, we've had one of these baking trays before that with dents in and we've had this one with the Lego in that's been signed. They aren't the cheap one pound shop little trays they are heavy duty trays that is going to hurt when it hits you and twice on on kingsley's head ow that's oh i i there's bits i couldn't watch of this match because oh just the pain i watched it all you watched it all did you but um and then um the thumbtacks come out oh. which to be honest i'm not a big fan of the thumbtacks no. i don't like them i think I think it all got bad last year when they actually took off, as it was, King Morley's boots back then and he got thumbtacks in his feet. I can't, oh. I, I don't like the idea of thumbtacks. Um, 
but uh, he went, um, Kyle picked up uh, Liam, Liam went onto the thumbtacks and I think I counted on the picture, there must have been more to start with, seven thumbtacks stuck all here Ooh. in his elbow. Um, I mean, the pain of having all them thumbtacks. I guess it's like having your ears pierced multiple times wow. in one go. Can you imagine that? That would hurt. Yeah, oh. yeah. You not had Seriously. your ears pierced, so you've had... You yeah, you've not it. had anything pierced. Martin, it hurts. Um, but he gets up and, you know, carries on this match. Sorry, do you want to say anything? Because I'm getting so into this match, I was like, oh my goodness. Do you want to say anything? Uh, <laughs> or shall I just carry on? You just carry so on. So I'll carry on. I'll I'll go. So the boxes of Lego that um, that they emptied out was also a big Lego piece, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. There was two of these in the ring, and um, Kyle had got the uh, sorry Jack's head on one of them and put his foot down and crushing his head on this big Lego brick, wasn't he? Yeah. So Emma just couldn't take any more because she Queen Emma was like, no, I can't stand this. Got onto the ringside and was pleading, begging with Kyle Kingsley to let Jack go and so Kyle did what he does now he's he's a heel he pulled Emma into the ring didn't he and this other big brick puts her head on and squashes her head on it um, so we're all shouting for Jack to get up and say look what he's doing to Emma um, but he's so out of it um, and then he does actually I think get up doesn't he and, yeah. and gets gets him off and Emma stands up about to take her shot. I think she wanted to be onto Kyle Kingsley at this point, didn't she? Um, to which Luna Rocks from nowhere comes out, grabs hold of Emma and pulls her out of the ring and hurts her, her ankle on the way out. So Emma is now can't do anything. She's struggling because of her, the pain that she's in. Um, and Luna stands on ringside to make sure that she's there so Emma can't go back in and for Kyle to try and get this win over over Jack yeah. Um, so yeah I think that's then I think that's when the whole hitting with the with the baking tray came but um, wrapping it all up anyway because yeah. it was a crazy crazy Horrible. match um, I mean we, we actually sat with Kyle Kingsley's parents didn't we yeah. and, and his mum, she couldn't watch certain points, Emma couldn't watch, I couldn't watch certain points, and I don't really know these guys, but um, to wrap it all up, Kyle took the pin, yeah. which is Jackie still with uh, with a no win. Um, at some point, this guy's got to win, he's got t-shirts now, we've got t-shirts, I've not got mine on, it's in the wash. But yeah, this guy's got t-shirts, he's got stickers, he's got merchandise, he has to win a match. And we, we do love Jackie Cave, don't we? Yeah. So, uh, fingers crossed for the future. Yeah. But one heck of a match, um, not for the faint-hearted, um, very, very full-on craziness. Yeah. My goodness, guys. <laughs> Serious, I don't know if I'd call them tough or silly for what they just put yeah. themselves through. What do you think? I'd say... Silly. Silly. Because it's <laughs> their decision. It's their, it's their deci decision to do it, yes. So what? it was silly. And it's people's decision to watch it. Like I say, not my cup of tea. I don't like hardcore too much, but um, it was a very, very good match. Well done, guys. So your first match of the afternoon on the 27th in Shirebrook was Mark Rolls and Kieran Saint versus Team Mad. Which is Danny Ch uh, da uh, Chase Williams rather, and Danny Mayhem. Oh, so just close. saying, so just say, just saying, the, how difficult it is with so many chases in Hope Wrestling that uh, you get them mixed up. Danny uh, Chase also a favourite. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yes, very much so. Um, but uh, what the, well, the, the match starts the, quite <laughs> quite weirdly, actually. Well, you've got who is it? Who is it? Mark Rolls. Mark um, Rolls. Bless him. The entire audience. He, he looks it, like Shaggy. It does look like Shaggy. He looks like Shaggy. Scooby Dooby Doo. So the whole audience was chanting Shaggy at him. He was going along with it. <laughs> he he enjoys it. He likes it. It's good, isn't he? I like it. Yeah, he, he ran he ran along with it, which uh, yeah. 
was really cool. And then he plays his music, uh, plays his partner's music. Yeah, he's rather. like, I've got some music I've for got you some to come music out to. to come out to. Sound uh, guy, get that music on. What was the music? I'm a baby girl. In the Barbie world, imagine it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I won't bore you uh, with that. Kieran Saint is obviously not very happy about <laughs> this, to say the least. Um, but uh, yeah, everyone else then started chanting Scrappy Doo to uh, Kieran Saint. Yeah, and calling him Barbie Girl as well. And Barbie Girl, Barbie yeah. Girl to him. So, so yeah, the, the crowd was very hot off the back of this yeah. one just from the music and getting people going with that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, I don't think the audience stopped shouting all the way through this as well with Barbie Girl and yeah, yeah. Scooby and shouting if he wants to Scooby. Which is now. good, because although they get all, all, all right crowds in, in Shirebrook, they usually tend to be quite quiet. They, they weren't today. I don't know whether it's just because they usually do them on a Saturday night and people are tired or... Uh, um, but we were there they, and they, we was just... Different, yeah. We just don't stop. There, there's Sorry, a guys. there's a like a a rumor going around that when we we are there everything's a bit a uh, bit louder. It's not true. <laughs> I did hear that somebody <laughs> actually came up to Ian and said um, thanks for being loud again. <laughs> <laughs> Us? No. no. Never. No. <laughs> um, you will always know when Cheap Shot Entertainment are in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the uh, the match finishes. We're going to go, we're not going to do any details on this one. Like I say, yeah, we're on a on a schedule. schedule. Uh, the match finishes with a low blow and a roll up from is it Kieran, Kieran, Kieran it Saint was Kieran, uh, um, to um, Chase Williams to Chase Williams after the referee is distracted. Which I heard a comment saying, "Well, I don't think Chase Williams wants any more children anyway." So yeah, um, yes. And your winners are Mark Banger Rolls and Kieran Saint. Or oh, Shaggy and, and Barbie Scra Girl. And Scrappy Doo. Oh, and or, Scrappy. or Barbie. Or Shaggy Barbie and Girl. Scrappy Doo. Uh, so, yeah, your winners. Uh, I think that's the first time we've seen these two win as a tag team as well, yeah. which, is, which is pretty good. But again, it's Team Mad. I mean, we love Team Mad. Yeah, Matt, Team so. Mad. I love them. Team They're Matt. awesome. No! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the second match of the evening was Jade versus Nightshade. Now, um, there was lots of cheers for Jade, so the fan were all behind Jade, and also just to take notice that Team Mad and Jade um, have gone good. Yay! Yeah, so you're gonna. And then, so Nightshade. Um, not a fan favourite in Shybrook. Everyone were booing her. No one liked her. Except. Uh, uh, except me. Yeah. <laughs> and she and she can take really good banter with the audience. Keep it. And she can give it as good. Yeah, she can give it as good as well as taking it like Anthony Mafia. Um, yeah. When you ran his head on the roof. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, and then Nightshade is screaming and shouting like she's going to win, even though Jade is also saying that she's going to win. And there was a booty roll. Which is renamed. That's what he said. <laughs> Which has been renamed by Zizzy Z. Um, yeah, the booty roll, and to finish off the match, there was a submission. Submission! Which was something, I can't remember. The triangle chokey. The triangle chokey thing. Ha 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 ha! I don't get it. <sighs> like, at one point, she got Jade down, the pin, and she did the left shoulder up, pinned the left shoulder, and Jade managed to get the right shoulder up, and then she turned in, and then. She she got both shoulders down and Jade did a bridge to escape a pin. Nightshade on top of her. With Nightshade on top of her. Woo! And um, also noticed Jade, uh, actually, uh, I never noticed that, um, I've never, when we used to wash a wrestle, I never noticed her like go up onto the top rope or the second rope. Um, and I noticed she's got some high flying skills in there, so. No, yeah, she did a diving cross body. Well, tried, but then night she reversed it. And also in Lancaster, one time she um, went up the top rope and did a cannonball to the outside. 
And then one time you won't let Tammy speak. And then one time I won't let Tammy speak, so Tammy, you can speak. And that was it. Nightshade got the win. Yay. Jade won. Oh, Jade won. <laughs> <laughs> and Jade won by submission. And so your next match of the afternoon features Alexander Hyde of the Omen and Warren Banks, of course, a feud that has been going on for a couple of months with months with Warren Banks and Kyle Kingsley battling against the Omen before Kyle Kingsley turned heel on Warren, turned his back on his best friend. Uh, Warren still fighting that good fight against Omen. Um, and this match was absolutely crazy. There was there was merch flying everywhere during this match. I don't think they hit the ring for very, very much time at all. There was lots of fighting outside, basically, wasn't there? They were fighting through the crowd, they were fighting at the merch stand. Um, yeah, and it was absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. Let's start starting a bake off. Yeah. Yes, I think started so, a bake off, so we're going to so do So Alexander again. Hyde and Warren Banks did start a bake off. Uh, neither of them had soggy bottoms, and uh, that's when we had um, had the merch stand. <laughs> yeah. uh, merch stand mayhem. I will name that. And <laughs> use that as a as a show in the future. Hope future merch stand mayhem. Joe will be fine with it. We did, oh, we did no, guess, she won't. We did, oh, guess, she will. we did guess commentary for her. She'll be fine. Um, so they wrestled at the back through chairs at each other, didn't they? Yeah. Um, to, at one point, Sid Vicious lost a hand. Or Sid Justice. Yes. Whichever, whichever one you want. Um, battled near the camera at the back. You've got uh, Cat um, trying to save the camera at one point because they were battling really close to that. Um, and <laughs> what was the chant going off during this show, uh, uh, during this match? Joe's going to kill you. <laughs> Joe's going to kill you, uh, which was really funny because Joe's merch merch stand. Don't cross her. Don't cross the boss, as Vince McMahon would say. Um, Joe's going to kill you because the merch stand was just all over the place, wasn't it? Yes. At one point, Alex and I got um, Warren Banks and he chucked him over the top of the merch stand, knocking t-shirts everywhere, knocking stuff everywhere, and are we going to pull that video in? Yeah, exclusive. And we got an exclusive video which will pop up behind us. Oh yeah, yeah. Emma got a hit on the head as well. With the DVD. Oh, yes. There's DVDs flying everywhere as well. We're, at this point, we do have an exclusive video which will be playing in the background. Uh, we had a roving reporter in the merch stand capturing the action <laughs> as it went down during this match. So Warren Banks tries to charge Alexander Hyde. Alexander Hyde uh, sort of chucks him up in the air. And Warren Banks goes flying over the merch stand into Joe and Emma and all the people behind there. Uh, but a really, really good match. I mean, it was, it was just, it was nuts. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, but the finish uh, featured chairs, baking trays, and a spear from Warren Banks to get the win over Alexander Hyde. Uh, modicum, of, modicum of revenge for Warren Banks for all the um, things that Omen have done to him over the last couple of months. Uh, but your winner in this one is Warren Banks. Yes. Really, really good match. Really yes. enjoyed it. Hi, now we're going to tell you all about the match with Troy Goose. Um, and he came out to start with, with Protein, uh, Tank and Bendigo. And these was facing Hustle Malone. Uh. So, um, well, to start with, it was all on the outside, wasn't it? All yeah. of the whole team was on the outside, including Troy. A um, bit nervous um, to go in. Um, but then he has only got a tiny towel, so probably feeling a bit a bit yeah, nervous about a that tiny whole situation. A tiny toolkit. No, that, that's, yeah. that's something totally different to the yeah. tiny towel. It's on. Unless you follow it's Hope Palmer, you don't know about the tiny toolkit. Tiny toolkit. Right, anyway. Diversing. So yeah, uh, Hustle took on each of them and took them down one by one to finally get um, just him and Troy together. Uh, so yeah, 
take lots of wrestling, lots of, not so much chops. I've not heard Troy do his squeal much lately, have you? No. We miss the squeal. Bring back the squeal. Ooh. Or chop him harder so he squeals louder. Because he does like the chops. Here's a match. Mark Davis versus Troy. Mark Davis against Troy. For the love, for the chops. I don't know because Mike Wilde went against Troy and oh my oh. word. Just ow, ow. There they are. Then Mark, Mark Davis and Mark Wilde versus Troy. Handicap match. <laughs> like it. Chop. <laughs> Chop indeed. Um, so yeah, it's. Um, Team, uh, pro team got involved in this. Um, so I think Jade came out, didn't yeah, she, to Jade help, came really mad to help, help Hustle? Because uh, as Martin said earlier, Team Mad have now turned I, I good. I didn't say, I just, oh yeah. I yeah, you did say, you did say. I did say Team Mad um, went good. Which is quite, no quite good because uh, we, well, we like heels, don't we really? Um, yeah. And from starting, we've always been behind Team Mad, we've always liked them. So now to see them turn is quite, Good. Quite good, isn't it, really? Yeah. We actually like good ones. We're like baby faces. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway. Anyway. They, um, yeah, so Jade come in. Um, Pro team came in and, and they attacked Jade. I think, did I say Jade came in? I think, sorry. So uh, Jade, and they attacked, oh, and they attacked Pro team. Um, sorry. Rewind, forget that bit. So Jade came in, yeah, Jade came in, yeah, and, came in. and Pro Team attacked Jade. Um, and Hustle obviously he couldn't do anything because he was still injured. And so then. what happened? Who came to save the day? Danny and Chase. Not Danny Chase. No, not we'll Danny have you Chase. Know. Danny Mayhem and Chase he Williams. Would. He would have helped Pro Team if you came out. Yeah, he would. You boo now. So anyway, um, Hustle. Uh, held Troy and he triple kicked him. I think that's triple kicked. Uh, team Mad took Pro Team out. Um, but Troy hit Hustle with the belt, which uh, turned into the pin being taken, I believe, by he went Troy. One. Yeah. Am I right? So there? Troy pinned Hustle. <laughs> And we all thought that was going to be it. And then Hustle, uh, about that much before the ref went to three, he kicked out. So who won that match? Because like, I've been so very silly and not actually Hustle, put. Um, so, Hustle won the match. Hustle won the match. And then after Thank the match, you. Team Mad was all in the ring. And then, yeah. um, I think... They did the photo opportunities in the ring, didn't they? And then um, after, um, I noticed it was a bit of high flying. As um, pretty much to take uh, protein down. Uh, Dan Chase Williams uh, did a suicide dive to... Two of them, and, Ch and Danny Mayer went over the top to take Dan Troy. That was the end of that match. Got rid of Protein. And I'm guessing Protein just went running back into the back. Not crying. Very crying. Crying. And Troy Lad screaming. That didn't actually happen. And but. Troy Lad screaming. That would have been good if it happened. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Hustle wins. Stands victorious in the ring with Jade, Danny and um chase william chase thank you and you've got what well part of team mad together there and we had one person missing which um during the photo opportunity had to go back we got jack cave back with them full on team mad back together um but jack cave isn't with Team Mad, so I'll just make that clear. That was only for the photos. Uh, Team Mad is back together, minus Jack. Who knows in the future, might happen. But he's got his sights set on other things at the moment. Yeah. So great match. Um, well, it's going to be a great match. Pro Team and Team Mad, to, it's, it's not going to be a bad match ever, is it that? No. So that was your match before the interval. Bit short. Yeah. Carl Kingsley and Alex Cupid. Carl Kingsley won. <laughs> <laughs> Next match is Kyle Kingsley against Alex. 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 Alex Cupid. Alex Cupid. Uh, Kyle Kingsley' recent heel turn has uh, definitely brought him some more wins. He's back on his winning streak. Yeah, a lot more moment. boots as uh, well. I mean, yeah. people used to boo uh, Kingsley, but for the whole backbreak thing, saying, "Oh, we can only do one, one move." One move, yeah. 
it's pretty there's actually guys, several it? versions of the same move it is so technically it's different moves different moves yes but since going heel he's found this new hole yeah this this streak he, yeah, he, yeah he, he definitely he's definitely warming to that role um, very lot, very well a lot more moves coming out a lot mm. more showing everyone you know i can do more yeah this is what i can do and he's he's doing it well yeah he is definitely uh alex cupid we've seen we've seen him in in hope a couple of times yeah we've seen him in sacrifice we've seen him in sacrifice as well Decent wrestler from from London. Mm -hmm. um, he is. Puts up a good fight, but uh, ultimately it is Kyle Kingsley that picks up the win on this one after some back and forth. There's one point where Alex Cupid had Kyle Kingsley in a hold. Yeah, I think he got him like this, and so Kyle was, I don't know what you call that, you know, yeah. the jump up. And yeah. I do. I'm yeah, he got technical. him like a sort of bear hug going for the. Oh, uh, no, no, his body was, belly, his belly. body was like this. Oh, right, yeah, like that, so he just had a, just had a hold. A normal hold, just yeah. A hold. Um, and you could just hear Carl Kingsley shouting, put me down, put me down! And Alex Cooper just like, okay, <laughs> onto the floor. Yeah. Uh, it, it to didn't, the, yeah, it didn't to actually go. Slam. Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny if he did. Though. <laughs> 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 Bang! <laughs> pew, pew, um, pew, pew, pew! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the if they did that in wrestling matches, just like going to the corner and go, kapow! <laughs> you know, if I ever become a wrestler, that's going to be my gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> like the old Batman movie. <clears throat> yeah. You need, you need to be <laughs> cut out, cut sides, out but sides, as well that you can hold up. Put, put it in the crowd for them to hold up every time they were move. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a good technical match. Both guys very evenly um, matched. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think um, very good. Yeah, Carl Kingsley, of course, wins with the backbreaker. Um, well, I think it was a kneel down sort of. Yeah, one of those backbreakers. Just a backbreaker. Yeah. I'm not. Even, yeah. I don't know what kind of variation it is. Kyle, if you're watching, let us know. And many apologies because I, I can't. I don't know where I went. I just put Kyle, then took the. Where did I go? What did I do? What did he take? What did he take? What Answers in the comments section down below. <laughs> you can finish off this match for us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Carl Kingsley. He took over my nightmare last night. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> That's another story. Carl Kingsley wins with the backbreaker on Alex Cupid. Alex Cupid cannot kick out and he gets the pin for the win. So uh, Carl Kingsley very much on a winning streak again. Pin After uh, pin, for pin for the win, pin for the win. I think that needs to go on a T-shirt. Pin for the Hashtag win. Hashtag pin for the win. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Carl Kingsley is your winner in this one. Yay! In momentum going into the main shows coming up in Leicester and Mansfield. I tell you what, though, as well, because of of last night as well, what what this guy took. Yeah. How he did even went into another match today. Well, here, I will never know. What, yeah. what, what? Alex, Cherry Bomb Squat, Cherry Bomb sent you a video. What's my daughter sent you? Don't know. We'll leave it there. <laughs> cherry, cherry Bomb is uh, interrupting our... <laughs> so the next match is... A tag team match. Um, and... Um... Scheduled for 1-4. And introducing first, it was Riley Morris. And uh, Zach Nova. The high school heartbreakers. <laughs> <laughs> versus, versus the pro team <laughs> of Bendigo and... Jackson Bain. The tank Jackson Bain. I quite like the tank. I think he's, uh, he's really, really good. He's got a really good character. And, uh, you know, for a big guy, he can move around the ring. He's not, he's not a one-trick trick pony no. definitely not he's uh, quite impressive i like the pro team anyway i think they're really cool yeah they are good um so start of the match uh, riley gets pushed to the floor it is riley nova and jackson bain in the ring to start gets pushed to the floor zach morris comes in tries to get uh, Jackson Bain down, obviously being the bigger guy, he really just doesn't budge. It's like the immovable object. Um, 
it's not long before you know the, the match breaks down a little bit with uh, all four guys getting in the ring. Riley and Bendigo back in the ring at this point. Uh, they go to take on one on one. Uh, so yeah, they um, they get the sign now, don't they? Uh, so Riley, is it Riley Nova who gets the sign, or is it Zach Morris? I don't know, but um, so the high school heartbreakers yeah. get the sign. What do they do with the sign? And just the sign. Two men on the outside on the stage. What do they do? They ran, ran and flipped off the stage and did cannonball. Uh, Zach Morris and Riley Nova did cannonballs. Onto um, no, I'm going to say Goose. Uh, no, Bendigo and, and Jackson Bain. Jack yeah. Jackie. 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 <laughs> Jackie, Jackie Bain. Um, hello, Jackie. Hello, Jackie. Uh, um, so yeah, at one point as well, Bendigo comes out to the ring with a with a uh, like a Instagram thing. Yeah. Uh, you no, know, saying hashtag Bendigo Pro Team and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's a physical version of. He comes out using that. Um, all I shouted at him was, you need a better filter. But <laughs> they do use that. The high school heartbreakers do use that against Bendigo. They put it over the top of Bendigo and spin him round a little bit. Yes. It gets a bit disorientated at that. Um, and uh, like I say, he said the high school heartbreakers did some excellent high-flying moves yeah. off the stage. Very, uh, very dangerous, but uh, very entertaining. You've got to give them yep. props for that. I'm going to do this now. Um, I think Riley, um, he has done that move a couple of times, um, and he is getting better at it as he goes along. Um, so I remember he did it once in House of Pain, um, watch, remember watching the video, and he also did it in Hope, which didn't go, go quite wrong, but it still managed to take down the people. Mm. Just he didn't, uh, something happened and he bounded his back or something. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, I think I remember to, that. Yeah, so much to do it. Yeah, so, so yeah. this unfortunately leaves uh, Zach Morris in the ring on his own, as Riley can't really move after that that move. Um, so Riley's on the outside and Tank um, in the ring with Zach Morris. Uh, Troy then is out is out at ringside for the whole match, isn't it? Yeah. Tiny tiny towel Troy. Uh, Troy Tiny <laughs> Towel, how, however you want to do that. A uh, bit box. of alliteration here on Cheap Shot Entertainment. Um, and uh, yeah, gets a, he distracts the referee, I think, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. Or at least he tries to. And uh, Pro Team get the win over the high school heartbreakers who, on the night before, were in the main event in, for the future tag team championships. We're in the running for the for, to be the first ever future tag yeah. team champions. Unfortunately, that went to Omen. Um, but, um, yeah, it went to Omen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and at the start of the match, uh, Troy um, came out and he said that he um, wanted to wrestle for the tag team championships. So he's disappointed with the Heartbreakers for not winning them. Yeah, it was supposed to be a tag team championship match. He disappointed uh, with them not pulling their weight so to speak yeah. um, and uh, yeah we've got no chance of uh, wrestling for those on this show but future down down the line on in the future and we've got a couple of tag teams now uh, for the future tag team championships including team mad yeah and uh, obviously pro team and high school heartbreakers and i'm sure there's a banger rolls and mark and kieran saint Actually, so we've got quite a good little tag division going off in uh, Hope Future at the moment, which is really good. The evolution yeah. of Hope Future has come a long way in a year. I was about to say also Battle Squad Awesome, but obviously they broke up. Mm, I'll see them. So your main event of the evening is a future championship match. Features Mark Sanders. And who is the champion? Current champion, Mark reigning and, Sanders. Yeah, current reigning and defending Hope Future champion, mm -hmm. going against Bjorn, the big Viking Bjorn, yeah. rather than the House of Pain <laughs> Bjorn, who is 
scraggly and scrawny and <laughs> a, and a bit, uh, yeah, he's a bit, um... That was you. Uh, it's a bit, um... Lee, can you not interrupt us while we yeah. do this? Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, so it's completely different Bjorn. Uh, Bjorn in Hope Future definitely embraces that sort of name with his Viking mm -hmm. the sort of character and he comes out with, he's got tassels as well, there's tassels everywhere yeah, in this match. Um, and the face paint and things like that. I so, think Sanders tassels. Yeah. They're a lot more tassely. They are a lot more tassely and he can remove them and put them in different places as yeah. well, which is um, that innovation. That makes it work, yeah. in Innovation in wrestling gear. <laughs> um, so we did get to do a bit of guest commentary. Why have one look when you can have many? Many. <laughs> many. <laughs> yeah, we did get on. to do a bit of guest commentary in this match. We did in this a little match bit. For Joe's video, <laughs> Merch Joe's video. Yeah, because unfortunately uh, Mark Sanders' wife couldn't be there. Um, so Joe did a Facebook Live so she could watch it and uh, just went and asked people if they could just she managed their to opinions, stay, yeah, really. I was say they stayed over with us for quite a while, so we must have been doing a decent job. <laughs> so that that is my application. If you ever get commentators for Hope Future, that's our application for that. If you don't mind me just not doing technical stuff, but just saying, yeah, that was good. I, yeah, I can be the play-by-play. Play. I'll just be the the one that sits there saying random things. Yeah, can do that. <laughs> anyway, it's no different to these videos, it's really. Not, isn't no it? Um, anyway, really good match. You don't you don't usually get um, two big guys no. put on a really put on a decent match. It's usually quite slow. It's usually quite sluggish. Lots of rest holds and things like that. Uh, but these two are completely different. You've got two guys who are big, uh, muscle, muscly, tall, and you know the complete opposite to what you think. Who who would you think like chucking people around and stuff like that, and and doing power moves as well as fast moving moves as well. Yeah, they are, they are two very good, like you say, big athletes, but very fast and agile, and very good with technical stuff. They. Uh, you know, and you, but you have got a size difference as well because Mark yeah. Sanders is really he's like that, here, yeah, to Bjorn six being foot here. odd, and Bjorn's not. I think he's probably a bit shorter than me, but maybe I, probably to be honest, the I think same he's size. I think he's shorter than me, as right? Well, so, but he's he's wide. He's, oh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's built he's, like yeah. a brick. Yeah, house, shed brick shed house. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, really, really good match, hard hitting. They don't pull any punches with this match. There's slams, there's suplexes, um, disco balls going everywhere. Oh, the disco ball came flying off the roof. Yeah, it nearly went everywhere. We nearly had a disco. And the amount um, of chance that we gave to these guys saying, watch the disco ball, but yeah. they don't listen to us. <laughs> and we had a lot of, uh, oh dear. <laughs> We've had a tooth come out. <laughs> Okay, that's beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> You've got to keep that bit in where she just walks past and looks at the camera with a, with a blood tissue hanging out of her mouth. I've got a tooth on the table now. Tooth. That is going on eBay when Cherry Bomb makes the WWE. Yeah, Cherry Bomb's tooth. Cherry Bomb's tooth. That could be worth a fortune. Forget the tooth fairy coming tonight. I'm making money on eBay with that. <laughs> um, so yeah, the disco ball goes flying. Um, There's roof tiles coming out. Roof tiles. But the, and Mark's, Mark takes the whole um, tassels. Tassels. Thing, I mean, a brilliant. Yeah, he it, does. The chanting that we did. And, and he, he makes sure people carry on doing it yeah. as well, which is, which is the mark of a really good performer inside that squared circle. Yeah, he's very good. Uh, but yeah, the, the win comes when Bjorn um, hits a uh, fireman's carry slam pin on Mark Sanders. Mark Sanders, being very tall, takes out the roof tiles. <laughs> the whole ceiling was going to come down on them. Uh, but Bjorn finally gets his win, his title. He's had many, many chances to win and he finally does it finally does it so your new champion is bjorn, bjorn. and also you know supported by team mad who was in the merch stand yes. throughout the match doing a new 
team chant. Man getting their entire chant going as well. So yeah, that um, so that was pretty cool. You know, watching watching the wrestling with Team Mad, which was yeah. fantastic. I think that's a good thing with Hustle, though. You know, whenever Hustle watches it, you'll see some wrestlers that will sit and watch it and just sort of like enjoy it and watch it. Hustle is one of these that gets behind the wrestlers too and you'll hear him shouting more than anybody sometimes at these things he, he loves it mm. watching it i think is really really good <laughs> but yeah great match uh great atmosphere for the last match and yeah. a lot of shouting yeah it, it was going around the outside as it, well, wasn't yeah it? It absolutely good. exhausted me this match dude because i was chanting all the way through it yeah. there's lots of uh, tassel chants and things like that but again this uh, is again no notes but i can't just I, I can't even imagine. You can't do notes when you're watching something. <laughs> yeah, I thought, and when you're enjoying it as much as we did yeah. during that show as well. Um, so if you've never seen a Hope Future show, get down to Hope yeah. Future. I think it's like six quid for a ticket. Mm. Uh, this weekend, we've already said, was £10 for both shows. Absolute bargain. I don't know if they're doing that for the next one because the next one is also over Saturday and Sunday. Is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 because sure they are doing, doing it. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday. So they might. That might so be the new might. Um, new format for yeah. them. But uh, certainly for the anniversary weekender, that yeah. was the format, and it, it was fantastic. Wrong, but I think it did work so well that they thought they'd carry on with that. Yeah. So. To find out more, head over to hopewrestling.co.uk and you can buy your tickets there direct from them. Uh, just take your email receipt with you uh, to get in. And show Michelle. Show Michelle, she'll look after you. And so will Joe, make sure you buy the raffle. Uh, always buy raffle. Always buy raffle. raffle. Always buy raffle tickets and support Hope Future. They've really come a long way in a year. Yeah, they have, um, it is the future of Hope. Yeah, um, they've come a long way in a year, so. And some of these matches, like some people have said, uh, the match from Saturday, the Cave Kyle match, these are matches that our main show matches and you're getting to see them at future so mm. yeah come along and see what you're missing it's amazing yeah um so yeah that's that's that match yeah. your new hope future champion the third ever hope future champion is bjorn well done well done yeah so Action. that's everything that happened over the hope weekender uh, taking place on the 26th and the 27th in the grosvenor rooms in Where's the Grosvenor Rooms? That is in Sutton. Sutton, there you go. I know I was going to say Mansfield. Grosvenor Rooms in Sutton and Shirebrook Welfare in Shirebrook, obviously, uh, and on the 27th. You don't say. Yes, it is in Shirebrook. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, we've got to do a nice little round up. It is from a good friend and friend of the show, Stephen Belshaw, did a fantastic straight to the point roundup of both shows it says we do need a disclaimer that he doesn't know we're using this yet so uh, oh, i will do when he watches the videos do. thanks steve we've oh, we'll, we'll, tag, we'll, we'll, we'll tag you in it <laughs> um, so it's two great shows in one weekend for 10 pounds uh, and what great shows today what great shows today i was in shirebrook that's stephen so we were as well obviously uh the future brand goes from strength to strength which we've already said uh here are uh, here are the highlights from stephen belshaw this just it, puts it all together in a couple of sentences yeah um I, I've got a bit to add on to that, yeah. which I did. So. The merch, merch table got destroyed, the lights got destroyed, the ceiling got destroyed, Sid Vicious lost a hand, he lost a hand. Uh, Emma Morley was attacked with a DVD, Team Mad made up with Hustle. Um, and Troy has a very tiny one, that's a towel, by the way, tiny towel. It's even and tinier than Kent's. Yes, it is. I was, that's proven on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Tassel's lost his belt. Uh, need to know any more? You, you should, should have, been have been there. You should, should have, been, have there. been there. So make sure you get down to Hope Future Shows. They're fantastic. My last bit that I added on to that comment was, and Riley Nova changed his name. He's been adopted by Zach. He is now Riley Morris. He is Riley Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Emma. <laughs> Things will always stick with you. Yes, they will. <laughs> um, so there, that is everything that happened in Hope Future. First anniversary weekender. Yeah. Awesome. You have been the Cheap Shot Nation. As ever, I've been your host, Luke. I've been here with... Zuzzy Z. Martin and TJ. Hey. 
Cherry and bombs. TJ's two tooth cherry bombs two by the two Little Miss Bliss. I'm selling that on eBay. What are you doing? Uh, she's just lost me a ton of there. Look. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and uh, click the subscribe button and drop kick that notification bell as well. Um, and that's it. We'll see you next time on Cheap Shot Entertainment. That was a short one. Yeah. <laughs> Well Give you more time in your day. Cheers. See you next time on <laughs> Cheap Shot Entertainment where we'll be going through everything that happened Probably on the 8th on the Hope yeah. Rumble, um, which is in Mansfield, which we'll be there for. We've got some cracking matches. Mm, including Eddie Dennis, Eddie Dennis against Jack Jester. Harvey Dale against For the Hope Wrestling Championship. Yeah, and, and the hardcore. Come on, Eddie! Yeah. And we've also got Kyle Kings versus Warren Banks. Kyle Kings against Warren Banks, so that feud yeah. is going to so, really kick off. Yep. Yeah. Um, and a rumble, and a rumble, of course. Yeah. So uh, I want looking to say forward to. Kai Payne's there. Kai, are you going to be there? I think he is. Just quickly, because <laughs> the rumble's coming up. Yep. Predictions for the winner. Oh. One oh, minute. Oh, 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 no, not one minute. Quickly, uh, Kai Payne. Kai Payne. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go with my boy Jackie Cave. Oh, is Jackie one. Cave in the Rumble? I'm hoping he's in the Rumble. He oh. was the Iron Man last can year. We haven't got time to. Go. <laughs> um, yeah. Broken down by the one question. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it's gonna be Big Papa Goose. Right, yeah. Martin's going with Big Papa Goose. TJ. Hey, people. He's thinking about it. She can't talk, she's got a tissue in her mouth, but I'm guessing it's Riley, Riley Morris. Riley Morris? What is it? Alva back. Sweaty pants Sweaty back. pants. <laughs> that first old, appearance. That was the very first appearance, yeah, he had the grey trunks on and sweated yeah. a lot. <laughs> he got a bit to darker grey, didn't he? Who's that? No, come on, who is it? Quick. Oh, Los Palominos. Los Palominos is there right. too. You've got to pick one or, one oh, or the other. I can't pick one. Frankie Vegas. Frankie Vegas, the other one. Oh, Tyvee Lee. Oh. Tyvee Lee. So TJ's going oh, with Tyvee no. Lee. I can't, I can't pick. I cannot pick. I've just seen the picture. I cannot pick. I'm just going to be cheering for everybody. Yeah, so we'll be there and we'll do a review on that as well. So we'll see you next time. We'll, we'll try. We'll I see you I'm next time. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye. 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 Tiny Troy. Tiny.